China. <laughs> Maybe. Because usually you have like he gets them to hold it or yeah. he gets us to hold them in the top eight photo. Ook ook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we'll back. We'll that's that's we'll the ceremonious ook ook. Um, so we're back in the quarters. We got Josh, who we saw earlier on stream, uh, being a coward, not playing Good. blue Good. in his primeval Titan deck. Yep, uh, and he's also, not playing like five colors. Yeah, he's also not playing <laughs> amulet. So he's he's on the basic sort of cascade shift win the game. Uh, and we got Mike, who is bringing back <laughs> bringing back an old archetype. Old school. Uh, old on, school. He's on, I think, what I think was your first modern deck. It, it was. It was my first modern deck. It's uh, Wiltleaf Abs and. Is what I call it. AKA Little Kid. AKA Little Kid Abzan, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this deck was sort of originally designed to sort of beat those Jun decks with the. Yeah. Um, they, so they've got uh, Wiltleaf and Loxodon um, Smiter, which both of you get discarded, they go into play. Powerful. Yeah, very powerful stuff. And then so. basically all his creatures are uh, like either hybrid green white or they are green white creatures and are pumped by uh, the Wiltleaf Liege. Uh, so it makes for a pretty fast clock, yeah. but is uh, just a fair deck with big green boys. Yeah, and we have not seen a lot of um, sort of mid rangey decks on stream, so it'd be nice to sort of see how this mid range deck deals with this sort of really consistent combo deck. Yeah. Um, traditionally, you know, he's not, um, he doesn't have a ton of discard or really meaningful ways to interact. Uh, so it's very different, that's why they call it Little Kid. It's not quite yeah, those so same sort of Black Green X decks. Um, oh, and yeah, getting your Dark Lightning bolted by and then the playing Shift Fighters in turn two. Yeah. yeah, so Mike's coming out with a, a pretty slow start at having his, uh, his Dork shot down. Yeah. Um, this is really going to hurt him. Um, and obviously Josh is still ramping while dealing with uh, the hierarchy. So this is exactly where Josh wants to be, and he was on the play as well, being top seed, so this is already <laughs> looking really nice for Josh. Yeah. It's gonna be a race in game one especially, and he's definitely got the leg up. Um, and then hopefully Mike can bring in some That's meaningful cool. attraction yeah. in game two. Yeah, Mike here needs to put something big on the board and fast, um, and just hope that Josh can't find a payoff. Because uh, it looks like he's, he's getting his mana in. Yeah. Um, he's got double Steve. Uh, which is huge for just buying that little bit of time uh, against obviously these mid-range decks. Oh, nice. You get to block something like a Goyf, yeah. or, well in this case maybe something like a Kitchen Finks or something like that. It, that that's buying you through like while also progressing, <laughs> which is huge. Uh, so 23 to 14. Um, uh, however, uh, <laughs> Siege Rhino is going to be really interesting because uh, it's going to be hard for Josh to put uh, Mike down to 18 for that, that clean escape ship kill, so you might have to wait for another land. So the, the life gain on Siege Rhino and uh, potentially Kitchen Finks could be uh, relevant. Yeah, also you see Siege Rhino has Trample, so Block yeah. Sack isn't really going to do anything here. Yeah. Um, so looks bad. That, that is important uh, to get that. That's probably the best threat to have. It, usually you want it backed up by something. Yeah, so those Steves are just going to be sort of hanging out there until... Growths, yeah. yeah they, they'll probably stick around uh, to try to block something if Josh doesn't have a kill. Yeah. But, we'll see what uh, Mike lines up here. Yeah. So you see Josh holding his fetches, and, uh, et cetera. So it looks like he's sort of learning from last time, where he was sort of, I think, playing his lines <laughs> a little bit prematurely, uh, playing, playing really tight, obviously, in the top yep. eight here. Uh, so I talked to Mike uh, about uh, this event and why he chose to bring a little kid. And he was talking about, for this exact reason, like, look, his life total is 25. You know, a lot of those other Black Green X decks are looking at things like um, Bob, really yep. using their life as a resource. Here, he's trying to just... Uh, yep. Just get out of range from things like burn. Um, these Phoenix decks, which are playing a ton of burn spells, is mono red sort of um, hollowed one decks. Yeah. Uh, so that was really his strategy, sort of metagaming. Uh, but really, 18 is that sort of magic number. But if you don't have a clock, uh, once you get the eighth land for Scape Shift, that's just a huge advantage. Yeah, 36, so, right? Yeah, 36. So he's not, <laughs> 36 he's not, to you. He's not getting that much. Yeah. And then all he really needs is one more land, and then it just gets exponential from there. So. <laughs> Uh, really, uh, gain, uh, out uh, life gaining scape shift is yeah. not a winning strategy unless you're something like um, <laughs> Soul even, Sisters. Even like Soul Sisters yeah. can't, right? Yeah. Um, but like that little speed bump, making him get one more land, <laughs> hopefully giving Mike uh, one extra turn maybe in the next few games, but not enough there. Too slow of a start for him. Yeah. Uh, we, we sort of expected um, that to happen, I think. Uh, yeah. Mike, Especially unless he has like a absurdly powerful start and can, Josh just has so much time to find the payoff, right? If he has, if he has the ramp part to start out, 
that's all he's really looking for. And then just once he finds that prime time or um, escape shift. Obviously, escape shift is better. It kills right away. And like you said, Mike, Mike had the path um, to deal with the primal titan. Yeah. Uh, and you know, honestly, he could take the six every turn. Uh, maybe lose like his um, the triggers for the what's his name uh, Kitchen Finks who had persist come back. So he'd be able to maintain some sort of pressure if it was just uh, Valica triggers. But Skip Shift just finishes it off right away. Yeah. So I think that was a really ideal game for Josh. Ramping, having the bolt, being mm -hmm. on the play. That's uh, exactly what he what he wants in uh, the next few games as well. So we're gonna have a quick look at uh, their sideboards. Um, so Mike, what's he gonna bring in here? Um, Gaddock Teague. Gaddock Teague, for sure. Um, and uh, maybe a Brutality and a Thought Seize? Thought, I, I don't yeah. hate Thought Seize. Thought Seize is at least some way uh, to rip out those instant kills yeah. from his hand. I don't, I don't hate Brutality. Taking a ramp spell, taking a land, slowing them down. Maybe you get the drain in there at some point. Maybe it's relevant. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. if you have to fetch shock and you're at 17 and you're a turn away and you just, just need like, that two life, yeah. it's definitely relevant. Um, and again, he's probably got a ton to take out in terms of like meaningless uh, interaction. Yeah, and also just his, his, uh, his slower creatures. like. Um, I don't think you want Lingering Souls in this matchup. Um, yeah. I think the other beaters are just much better. What do you think like, about Assassin's 40s? Trophy? Is there ever a position where you can like, sort of right. stop them right. from yeah. getting their yeah, number good. of mountains? Yeah. Or just hitting a raw Valakut, is that good enough? Yeah. Is that enough to slow things down? Yeah. Obviously it hits lands, which is huge, but um, I just don't think there's enough. He hadn't seen, he didn't see Call Me Heart Expedition. But I think you just want to bring in T, <laughs> Thoughtseize, Brutality, and then trim on your weaker threats and trophy. I think you can probably keep in the four paths, especially since uh, Josh is going to be bringing in other creatures. M you know what? Maybe the trophy's fine, but if you're trophying a creature and ramping your opponent, that's not a really great place to be. So I think trophy and soul is both uh, take the axe on this one. Yeah, and I think you sort of touched on it last time um, when we saw Josh on stream and you said you really like... Uh, surgical extraction against um, scapeshift players. Yeah. So if, if he had something like that, then trophy would have been a lot more reasonable. Oh, yeah. Um, but it just doesn't have that same support um, from that sort of two card combo, which gets rid of all the valicates. But okay, yeah, we see Mike is starting. He's, his hand is. Thought sees into two drop. Thought sees into, into three drop. Into four drop. I don't think he has a three. I think I saw a Fangs, so but I'm not totally sure. Uh, I definitely saw a rhino. There's a rhino, a, a pride mage. Uh, I think there's a kitchen thing in there. Okay, I mean that that you can't really ask for much more. I mean this matchup's already atrocious, so to, to be able to go one. I think he had two Gavinies though, or so, it was hard to see, mm -hmm. but I think he might have had two Gavinies. Okay, uh, but he's shipping it back. Awkward, yeah. I think he's looking for Teague or something specific. Um, yeah, I think you really want to go uh, Mike, Mike one is, drop, three drop. Mike is very much the kind of. Uh, player who will take his mulligans. Um, uh, he's he, very he knows he knows he knows he knows what he's looking for. Yeah. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, he knows if he's going if it's a bad matchup, he knows what he needs um, to win it. Yeah. And he's gonna he he will ship an average hand. Yeah. Uh, in favor of finding a key card. Yeah. He knows he knows he's not favored here, uh, and he's got to find the right stuff. Yeah. This looks like. This looks atrocious. Like <laughs> five lands, hearing souls. Yeah. So that's a gotta go back. So he's gonna he's gonna ship this for a five. Meanwhile, we're gonna have a quick look at uh, Josh's board, see what might be relevant here. Uh, there's uh, Obstinate Valoth, those by a lot of time. Probably a snap include Tireless Tracker. Seems like it's great. A braid is probably still good enough. Just another effect uh, to kill those uh, those dorks. Kill uh, get a Teague, mm -hmm. um, and probably bring in the last Anger. Sweeping away those small dudes and the, the yeah, things. obviously the, the exile is is relevant in this matchup, um, but he's already got an anger in the main <laughs> as well. This is a rough five for Mike. He's got. I mean, he's found the Teague, which he which he he's likes. Got a he's got one lander yeah. with. Uh, but he's gonna get to scry if he can scry a land, and then he can. Okay, he didn't scry a land, but uh, it it is rough. What's that? What's that last card in his hand? He's got double rhino. Okay, he found. Okay, he found that. He's so he's he's. He's not playing it. Whoa. Okay. He really. Sorry. I mean, in all fairness, it doesn't do anything right now, uh, and it might just it's eat a, a bolt. Clock, though. Uh, yeah, I know it is. It is pressure. 
I think um, you want to get the pressure out, and then you can go. You can actually potentially curve uh, two, three, four. Yeah, like here, like he could have. That's really good. Like now, if his dork gets bolted, mm -hmm. he, at least he could have kept the dork. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. This is this is rough. I, I don't I don't really fully agree with that play, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And I mean, Josh, he's he's probably got it a good idea. He's thinking, I need to bait out those bolts, those removal spells, <laughs> and I need to sort of ride this to victory and sort of block him out. And hope my yeah. opponent has Titans. I, 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 just, I feel like if he had something like a path to back it up, it would make a little bit more sense. Because if he plays a prime time, he has no answer to it. Yeah, you, you need to like hope your opponent has zero Titans in hand. Yeah, and really, this is just to lock out Escape Shift, right? Yep. There's not a whole lot more it does. Yeah. Okay, there's, so there's now, four, now he's... Now, and... now he's uh, so Josh is sacking that, which is never good news. This means probably there's a Titan coming. Yeah. Um, which is Josh, Josh would be very happy for that. Uh, Steve to block four damage essentially. Yeah, but instead he's gonna he's just gonna slam something. Here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Mike's at 19, so there isn't gonna so he's not gonna be dead this turn. But it's not looking great. This was a really unfortunate one for yeah, Mike. Here. Yeah, there's that Primal Titan. Primal uh, Titan's gonna come down, get some Valakuts, yep. and, uh, and then basically be a body you can't punch yep. through. Yeah, and he's gonna have a fetch line, so he's gonna be able to clean up the board. Yep. Oh, that's filthy. Yeah, that's. that's he's already got a Valakut in play too, so he can get two more. So he's gonna get. Oh no, he no, he, no, he, he's gonna was, get. He just... has to get one in a mountain. Yeah. No triggers. Oh, that's a lot of triggers because he has a, he still has a fetch line. Oh, that's um, gross. Yeah. Okay. I, Mike needs to draw a path here. And to be honest, though, the good thing about his deck, uh, we talked about all the life gain being good against burn. He can actually almost offset a lot of that Valica damage. Uh, and maybe eventually run him out of mountains. Uh, it's, not a, <laughs> it's not a great strategy. But if he still has stuff like Assassin's Trophy in the deck and he can get rid of one of those Valicates, then all of a sudden he's going to be hard to kill Siege Rhinos. And we know he has Rhino into Rhino, right? Yeah. All right, let's yeah. The problem is he can't, even, he can't even double block this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, and if he didn't have the path that turn, I think it's pretty much over. That that, that Prime Evil Titan gets a turn sideways. Yeah. I, I don't really see him coming back from this. Yeah. I mean, you, you know the, Josh has ramp in hand. He's just gonna he's just gonna play out all these all these ramp spells yeah. and just, and just good, shoot down yeah. Mike Ford. <laughs> and good on good on uh, Josh to not yeah, crack that fetch in a turn and hit the creatures because yeah. I think he can just kill here. Yeah, um, especially with with the colony waiting to use those fetches with the colony, like and he has a Steve, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> prime time triggers but where he's gonna get two valakets here. This, but this is gonna be a lot of damage. But you'll see, Mike. He's really disciplined. He makes his opponents go through it. Right? Yeah, and yeah. you know, show me the mountains. Yeah, show, show me that you can actually kill me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Show me that you can count to twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah I've, I've, okay. Right, okay, two triggers there. <laughs> two triggers. All right. Sack this, sack that. Josh, sack that. Josh has done this a million times. He never gets bored of this, so he he's loves, happy to he go through their motions. He's, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. he's uh, look at those long fingers. He's dexterous, man. He's he's got really like strong fingers. I'm gonna hit Trust me, I know. <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, What's up? Yes. Yeah. So back to the game. I don't know what else. Uh, is yeah, there. there's the hand. So. Well, I have like thoughtsies. Mm. Okay, there's yeah, the hand. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were playing this. That's the thing. I have thoughtsies. Full board. Yeah, so that wraps up the quarterfinals. Um, we don't have <laughs> the semis or finals uh, for you. Unfortunately, um, couldn't get waivers for the semis. And the finals was a split, so uh, spoiler alert. Spoilers. Uh, Josh won the whole thing. Josh won the whole thing. Yeah, those strong hands. Split with Ben. Big Ben. Yeah, so it was Amulet against um, Scape Shift. Yeah. But uh, they ended up splitting. Yeah, they're both going to the... Uh, SCG Int Invitational, which is uh, super exciting. So, congrats to Scape Shift. Yeah. Blue list Scape Shift. Congrats to Primeval Titan, first and second place. Let's go. Primal Titan, ugh. Banned, they banned my KCI and they beat Primal Titan? Okay. Yeah, honestly, 6 minutes, 6 6. Yeah, I'm not salty. Broken. Thanks for uh, watching and listening, and we'll see you guys. Yeah, the next one. At the next one. <laughs> Peace. I wasn't sure at all what you were yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your clock is much higher. And it yeah. shows by the cards I sideboarded in, which were really bad against you. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, that was not a bad idea. <laughs> I was like, maybe he's got worship. But I don't think it matters. Because <laughs> I know you love worship.